just wait till I drop my album. I'm a hoe too. Just got a bag of a closer. I need some space in the O2. And I get the shit that you don't. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do this insane effect that you've just seen on screen. It's so good and it's very different to what I usually do but I hope you guys do like it and if you do like more of these effects make sure to show some love by dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with post notifications on. It really does mean a lot and I do shout out my notification gang and stop every single video. Now you may be wondering why am I whispering, why is there no face cam? It's basically just because it's super late right now and this is the only opportunity I have to record the video because I'm super busy with school so I'm sorry about that but should be uh, back to normal next video. Alright guys, first thing you want to go ahead and do is get your clip and song of choice. It can be any type of clip you want, a bow clip, sniper clip, pump clip, anything that you want. It looks best on bow and sniper clips in my opinion but that won't stop you from using it on any uh, regular clip. Then you want to sync this to the song using uh, the main beat drop and then pressing M on your keyboard to create a marker. Uh, once you've gone ahead and done this, you can go ahead and insert a new video track. Go to the compositing mode and put this onto screen. And then apply the overlay that's going to be linked in a Google Drive link in the description. Go ahead and download that and basically move it to any position that you like. When it's screened, it's going to remove the background so that's going to be all good for you. And basically from the main beat drop we're going to go minus 50 frames back we're going to split the clip and delete it and then we're going to just drag it out a little bit and basically fade it in and then you can apply like a sort of slow fade like this then you want to go a few frames after so you don't want to go where the kill is but around around here is okay and delete it and you just want to fade it just in front of where the main kill is so it's there and then it's gone so once you've gone ahead and done this, we can add some pan and crop to create some more movement. So at the end, you just want to zoom it into our car a bit and then rotate it either way, whichever you like. I think this way looks best. And you just want to go ahead and change the position to smooth. And there you go. Now that you've done this, as you can see, it's going to kind of like move. So it looks like it's going into the galaxy whilst it's um, going on, which looks really, really good in my opinion. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and applied the overlay, you can now apply the preset. It's going to be my Discord link in the description in the hashtag download section. There's going to be one step that you're going to have to do. It's going to take a few seconds and you're going to get access to the preset. Super, super easy and simple to do. Then you want to go to the main beat drop. Then you want to go minus 50 frames back. Split the clip. And here you can apply the preset. It's actually going to be go ahead and call with the tarot galaxy effect. And it says 50 frames to the left. Hit OK. And as you can see, once the video progresses, as Vegas continues <laughs> to not respond, uh, you're going to have your insane build up occur in the background, and you're going to have your impact right on the kill. So, yeah, guys, that's basically all you need. The next thing that is really going to finish off the effect is you want to go one frame to the left off the beat drop, spit the clip, then go to where the uh, build up starts. Then you want to go ahead and fade it from left to right. And when you can change, you can uh, put this to a slow fade. Then you want to go ahead and go on effects, apply reverb, and wait for this to load. And then you can just go ahead and copy the sort of settings I do. You can really change and mess around uh, to what you like, and that's just going to give it a new kind of sound. Now that you've done that, your whole effect is basically done. It's super easy to do and looks so, so nice. It's crazy unique. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. It did take a lot of time and effort to make. I'm really sorry that, you know, I've had to whisper and it's just not like a normal video because I'm just so tired and it's so late. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You can drop a like and subscribe to the channel. That means the absolute world to me. Join the notification gang. I have 3,000 supporters. I'm doing a free edit pack and it's going to have loads of effects just like this. So make sure you're using code Tower in the item drop. And finally, if you want to take your editing to the next level, make sure to go ahead and check out my editing pack. Link in the description. It's going to make you such an insane editor in such a short amount of time. It's got everything you need with color corrections, presets, I don't templates everything, so make sure you go ahead and check that out, guys. Thanks you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.